All right. So you got different types of mirror work, right? One of them is we like to call shadow work, right? So um, the 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 mental picture you painting to understand what we're talking about, mirror work and shadow work, and using the mirror to do the shadow work. Pick the worst person that you could think of. Put them in front of you. This your mirror. Everything that make them horrible, see if you do that. Do you reflect that horrible shit they do? And the more the things that you discover that you actually do, this is where the shadow work part come in because you have to resolve that matter. What it is that the horrible person do that you do, then you have to work on yourself to not do that. That's what they call conquering the ego. Because the ego is what hold on to the negative traits. Another way of doing mirror work is reflecting back on your life. Anytime you hear the term reflect, you're using a mirror. When you hear the word recollect, you're using a mirror. Some mirrors is visual, some is audio. If it's audio, then you recall. How do you recall? That don't even make sense. That's an oxymoron. You call something, then you call it back. Right, so that's telling you that it's a reflective ideology attached to the um, the call. The reflective ideology say that you already been called. If you being recalled, that means that you called twice. So the mirror is the first and the last call. One reflect the other. Most people don't think there's a correlation with the stars, the six and the five. But the correlation is called the dozens. We finna play the dozens. Remember that game? Ain't that how we used to give each other nicknames, playing the dozen? So when is when is the six and the five equal? You close the uh, open loop. When you I flip like a it. five upside down, it becomes a two. And the two upside down is a five. You close the loop on the five, you got a six. Ten is ten toes down, ten fingers mm -hmm. up, right? Thirteen is the uh, is the unlucky number, but who is it unlucky for? Right, but thirteen is the center of the zodiac, the center seat, Big Mama seat. Big Mama represented as the hippopotamus with the mammary glands. Do you see Big Mama in there? This is the, called the 13th seat of the Zodiac. Big Mama house in the middle. And she got a butcher knife in her hand, right? Okay, so that's the 13th seat. All right, now, in order to get to Big Mama house, you had to go through something called the primordial noon in your end. This primordial noon, they say, is the infinite chaos, right? So now we're talking dark matter. We're looking in the sky at the dark. That's the noon. On the ground, as above, so below, right? The big chair up there, that's Big Mama chair. The Pope can't sit in it because he a man, but he can sit under it. It's so called St. Peter's seat, but it's really not St. Peter's seat at all. That's the seat of the Black Madonna, right? But they corrupted it now. So all that shit got to be replaced. The whole Vatican got to be dismantled. 